Detecting tsunamis early. Mathematicians may have devised a way to calculate the size and force of a tsunami well in advance, using underwater sound waves. A tsunami is a series of waves caused by the displacement of a large volume of water. Waves can surge as high as 100 feet and devastate coastal areas. Tsunamis are mainly caused by underwater earthquakes and are currently detected using pressure sensors and buoys. However, the system relies on a tsunami physically reaching a buoy to trigger an alarm. Scientists at Cardiff University in Wales have found that an early warning system can be developed by using a hydrophone to record acoustic gravity waves radiating from an earthquake. The waves carry information about the earthquake and can be used to determine the characteristics of a forthcoming tsunami, allowing for early detection. In the future, the team aims to be able to activate a tsunami alarm in near real time within seconds of recording the signals. Run and hide. Massive landslide caused killer tsunami. Researchers say a mega tsunami that devastated a Greenland settlement in June was triggered by a landslide. On the night of June 17th, a landslide hit Karat Fjord on Greenland's west coast. The landslide was so large, it produced a seismic signal that suggested a magnitude 4.1 earthquake. Large volumes of rock plunged a thousand feet into the waters below, shattering a glacier and triggering a mega tsunami with waves over 90 meters high. The tsunami devastated a nearby fishing village, washing away 11 houses and leaving at least four people presumed dead. A team from the Georgia Institute of Technology visited the site to collect information and are aiming to produce a 3D reconstruction of the incident. Researchers also determined that another landslide in the fjord may be imminent, leading authorities to evacuate three villages in the region. Though the cause of the landslide has not been determined, experts say factors such as those brought about by climate change may increase their frequency. Indonesia tests new tsunami warning system. The Indonesian government is weighing whether it should give funding to a new tsunami warning system after realizing that, whoops, the old one doesn't work. Scientists have successfully tested a prototype tsunami warning system off the west coast of Sumatra that doesn't require transmitter buoys. Following the Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami of 2004, Indonesia installed a multi-million dollar transmitter buoy tsunami warning system. However, after an earthquake in March last year, the government realized the system was useless because all the buoys had either been vandalized by boat crews or poorly maintained. In the new system, data travels through sound waves transmitted by undersea seismometers and pressure sensors. Transmitter buoys are not needed because the sound waves are refracted back into the ocean by warm surface waters to the next node in the network, a distance of up to 30 kilometers. The system requires a few kilometers of fiber optic cable at its endpoint to connect it to a shore station. The data would then be transmitted by satellite to provide tsunami warnings. The government is now considering if it's worth spending just over 100,000 US dollars to lay the fiber optic cable. But opinion is divided in Indonesia. Some officials say an earthquake is the only tsunami warning needed, and when a quake hits, it's time to run for higher ground. But others fear a crying wolf effect and worry that too many false tsunami alarms could make people blasé about the prospect of another devastating giant wave. Giant sound waves could subdue tsunamis. The devastating impact of tsunamis could be reduced in the future, thanks to the power of sound. According to an applied mathematician's theory, giant sound waves known as acoustic gravity waves could be used to lessen the force of a tsunami before it hits land. The theory states that two acoustic gravity waves would be released from a mitigation station in the ocean toward the tsunami. The acoustic gravity waves would exchange energy with the tsunami, spreading it out and reducing its maximum height. According to the theory, acoustic gravity waves could have reduced the height of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami by 5 meters, which may have saved lives and protected property. Any system based on the theory would require the installation of early tsunami detection systems, which the concept's author says is relatively straightforward. However, scientists have not yet worked out how to create acoustic gravity waves, and this presents a challenging engineering problem. 